Hi, this is Dave, WO2X. Uh, we're going to have a new video here showing the tuner sweep uh, flow for the Tuner Genius to auto program the memories in the Tuner Genius per band. Uh, this flow is written by Alan, WA9WUD, and myself. And uh, we're going to show you how it works. So the flow dashboard, I'll zoom in, is comprised of the tuner sweep controls where you can enter your call sign and after each tune it will send out your call sign at 30 words per minute. You can select a band that you want to do it and then you also have steps which is the number of memories per band. Uh, the tuner genius with the current firmware is maximum of 10 memories per antenna per band except on 160 meters where it's 20 memories per antenna per band, up to four antennas per band. Uh, for those outside the U.S. or if you uh, aren't uh, legally able to operate on certain frequencies, you can enter your start and end frequencies for the tuning cycle. Uh, in the middle there's a tuner sweep graph that will show the, func uh, show the completed tuning uh, graph and then on the right sweep memory control, you can save the results and recall them later on. And so over here we have uh, just uh, part of what the flow looks like. It's, it's pretty complicated. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you that I have uh, uh, the client running on the front of the radio right now. Uh, it's sitting on 30 meters. And so a couple of things to get set up. First of all, in the uh, flow up on top here there is a set sweep directory i'm going to zoom in a little bit make this a little bit easier to see and so up on top there's a set sweep directory path here and if you do not have uh, your raspberry pi set up with the default user of pi if for whatever reason you change that you can just double click that and it will open up and you can put in the path here. Right now, mine is home uh, slash home slash pi slash documents with a capital D slash tuner under, underscore sweeps. You can change the directory or again, if your uh, default user is changed, you can change that as well. So that needs to be set properly uh, for your username if it's different than pi. Uh, the other thing we wanna do is in the radio, is we want to make sure that the radio itself, uh, the tune power, in the TX uh, band settings, uh, I've set my tune power at 25 watts for each band. So 25 watts will give you a good tune with the Tuner Genius. Uh, if the power is too low, uh, the flow will default and you'll get an SWR-0 error at that point when it goes to tune. So once you've uh, changed or uh, verified your default path in the editor, uh, go ahead and click deploy. And now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna set our call sign here. And uh, we're gonna type in my call sign. And then I'm gonna hit enter. And so once I do that, it sets it into context memory for the flow. So it'll remember my call sign. And what we're going to do for the demonstration is I'll show you two uh, tuning uh, two tuning cycles that we're going to do. We'll do 20 meter, uh, 12 meters at the, the first one, which is a very small segment of the band here in the U.S. So there's only two uh, steps or two memories that I use for 12 meters. And so once I do that, uh, it will show you the frequency range here, start and end frequency. And again, if you wanted to change it to something different, you can manually enter the start and end frequency. And remember, once you type it in in megahertz, you gotta hit the enter key for it to take that value. Uh, you can also change the amount of memories if you want, uh, greater than two or less than two, uh, up, to a up to a maximum of 10. So we're gonna leave it at the default of two here. And once we do that, the radio gate closed, we click on that and it says open, we're ready to start. So if I click the start sweep, uh, what's gonna happen, the radio here is gonna go to the first step. It's gonna tune and then it's gonna go ahead and um, 
send out my CW ID. And what happens here is my antenna is resonant. So as soon as it went to that band and it keyed up, it uh, recognized that the uh, antenna is resonant. So it uh, automatically uh, went on to the next step. It didn't do a tune cycle. And uh, so it just starts at uh, 10 kilohertz above the bottom of the band and it ends 10 kilohertz below the top of the band as a default for each band. And again, if you want to change that, you can. So once it's completed, uh, we have our sweep results here showing, and if you see here, uh, the first one, my, uh, uh, it's resonant. So the C1, L, and C2 are all zero. And the second step, uh, C1 is two, L is two, and C2 is four. So the antenna is very resonant on 12 meters. Uh, if it was a high SWR as a result after tuning, it would be red. If you set up the tuner to bypass a region of that antenna, uh, which I'll show you on 40 meters, uh, it, you would see a green bar. And now on the right, there's a default name here uh, with the band, the date, and the time, and you can save the sweep. If you want to rename that, you can rename it and then click Save Sweep. And now from the pull down, you'll have that that you can recall at a later date. And I'll show you that after we do 40 meters here. So now we're gonna go on to 40 meters and we're gonna to go to 40. And what I'm gonna do is, here we go. And radio gate open. And now we're ready to start. So I'm gonna to click tuner, start tuner sweep. And it's gonna to go to the first step. And you see it sends the CW ID after step, after that step, after that tuning. And it's going to go to each step along the band. And this will automatically, based on the start and end frequency and the number of steps or the number of memories, it will turn around and calculate out the step size automatically. So as I get up in band, uh, my SWR gets better on this antenna. So it's going to start uh, getting to the point where it bypasses the uh, tuner. I have it programmed to bypass in certain segments. So what it'll do is it'll just key up the radio, not even perform a tune cycle. It'll sample the SWR and then send my CW ID. So that's going to do that for a few more steps. And then when I get up towards the top end of the band, the tuner's back in circuit again and uh, it will try uh, initiate a tune cycle. So here we go, this is the last step before it uh, goes back in circuit. And here we go, it's back in circuit now, so it just did a tune. And there you go, so. And here's the results for 40 meters. So the blue bars again indicate the tuner's in circuit the green is where the antenna is bypassed, and then blew back in again as I go up and band, my SWR starts getting higher. So again, there's a default name. I can come up and sit, uh, click on Save Sweep, save it, and now I'll have both 12 meters and 40 meters. So if I click 12 meters and click on the green bar underneath, it'll bring back my 12 meter uh, that we saved, or I can come back, change it to the 40 meters, click on the green bar and it recalls to 40 meter save, uh, settings. So um, in here you'll notice it shows you the frequency of each tune step. It shows you the SWR after tuning and it shows you the C1, the L, and the C2 values. If you see where the SWR is, if you see a red SWR-0 that indicates that your tune power was too low and uh, you should check that. So, or you could also possibly have um, that slice, the transmit frequency could be different from the receive frequency. So that could also cause that error. So again, this is the, uh, the new tune flow and uh, the new tuner sweep flow. I'll be uploading this as a package complete with my uh, flex radio flow. And I'll go zoom out here so you can see this. And up on top, I have my flex radio flow 
And then we have the Power Genius Flow. We have the Tuner Genius Flow. And again, the Tuner Sweep Flow, which is, uh, if you go down, it has quite a bit in here. The um, Power Genius, if the amp is in circuit, when you go to tune, the Power Genius will be automatically put into standby. And when it sends out the CWID after each tune, it will send it out at 30 words per minute. If you had a different uh, CW speed set up for WPX, it will turn around and it will read the radio, save that value into memory, and then once completed with the tuning, it will reset your radio back to the original CW speed. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, Dave, WO2X73.